kind of want to look back at this yeah, offseason. I know it was a little more normal, not completely a normal offseason, but how long does it can be? Pass the time and uh, get ready for the season. Man, I started working at a new place called Sports Academy in uh, Frisco, so that was a big, uh, big key in my offseason training this year. I added more training to it two times a day. Things like that, more pass rush work, more run, run stopping work, things like that. Really just change my eating up a little bit, so I can be a little bit more leaner and things like that. Specifically with the food, I know for me, man, everybody's got those things you don't want to give up. For me, it's pizza. But what are some things that you've had to compromise on a little bit to get yourself where you're at now? Man, look, I've come about a lot. Really, just not going out to eat at all. My girlfriend nutrition major in college, so she's really good with what we eat at the house. I just had to cut down smaller eating portions, things like that, shakes in the morning, maybe something small for lunch, and then maybe even one just one dinner size in uh, the afternoon for dinner. And that was about it, really. And just not eating late at night, things like that. It's really, it wasn't easy, but it's just had to own it because I was tired of being overweight and things like that, and not having my weight to where I know I can have it. I know last year you mentioned you were around, you were in the 270s, you lowered your weight from your first season. Are you about the same spot now? Or? Yeah, about the same spot, just a little bit more leaner now. So, just feel more light on my feet, a lot better, yeah. Look back at last season, obviously your rookie year, missed all, almost all the training camp in the preseason. Felt like you lost that year. Last season, you get the opportunity to be able to participate in all camp. Looking back at the year, where do you think you made the biggest strides on the field? Really in everything in my overall game. I got better at the beginning of the year. My pass was wasn't where I wanted it to be, but as the year progressed, it got better and better. My run stopping wasn't there either, but everything got better. And I felt like I was a dominant starter towards the end of the year, and I really helped the team in big parts of the season. So and really just about this year, it's about finishing. I've let last year go and my rookie year. Those years don't matter anymore. Now it's about pushing forward. How can I be the best player I can be? help this team and help myself to get to a Pro Bowl or a Super Bowl or both. How can I help myself do that, being an all-pro player, playing at a high level? That's really what it matters in the day, just playing at a high level, being the best football player I can be at the end of the day. All that crowd noise on the outside, so that doesn't really matter to me. People are going to say what they want to say, whether I ball or not, whether I have six sacks, seven sacks. Oh, well, why did he do that the first couple of years? It's going to always be something. So I just try to focus on straight forward and how can I get on better my technique, my pad level, my effort every day. How difficult is it to try to zone out that noise? Or is it something where you, you listen to it, but you take a positive approach to it? Man, people have been telling me my whole life I couldn't do anything. And I'm in the NFL now, so I don't really listen to that stuff. People are going to continue to tell me I can't do stuff. Well, you can't do this, you can't do that. Well, that's fine. I'm glad you think that way. I'm going to let you think that way, and I'm going to do what I want to do. You mentioned technique work this offseason. Is there anything specific when you look back? You mentioned all the areas you improved, but maybe there's a certain area or two that you were highlighting watching the film the spring. You're like, that's an area I really need to address if I want to make the leap I want to make. Making a pro bowl, for example. Getting off blocks, things like that. Getting off uh, all types of pass rush issues and things like that. Last year, I'd get to the block and like that, but I wasn't really getting off and making very many tackles. And that's why I want to take up my game next year. And really just okay. noticing more, like, from pass, uh, play action pass, things like that. So we really just want to make that leap in year three. Last year it seemed like you really had a penchant for coming through in the clutch. The, the stop on Cam Newton in week two, the huge hold that you drew on J.R. Sweezy, your former teammate, and the week 11 game, the water games came through right. Is that, is that something that you've always had, kind of that clutch gene, be able to come through towards the end of the game? So how, how important is it to you to be able to step up in those situations? Man, it's very important to me, man. I've always been the type of guy that can step up when I'm needed. And this year I just want to make that where I needed every play, man. You want to make more plays when you don't expect it and things like that. So that's a jump from year two to three that I want to make and really just be an all-around player, man. Just stop the run, pass rushing when I need to, and things like that. You guys have added some more pass rushes to the mix. Last year you led the sack. Leaving sacks the last nine weeks of the year after Carlos arrived. And almost everybody's back. You've got Kerry Hyder now here. You've added Robert. Uh, look at this D-line. What, what are the expectations? What is the potential of this group? I feel like we're going to lead the league in sacks again. We have a stout group from ones, twos, and threes. We have a lot of people that can play at a high level. The competition level is very high right now. Everybody's competing. Everybody's working hard. We've had a good couple of days of camp. So I feel like the sky's the limit for us. I really do. Looking at you individually going into this season, you mentioned playing slate. No more looking back at rookie in last year. Do you have any goals as far as statistics go, or is that something that you just put up the side and it's all about helping the team win football? I mean, at least 40 tackles, 
Yeah. 14 yeah, yeah. TFLs, things like that, maybe at least five or six sacks. Something like that really made myself jump the next year. Something's doable for an interior guy. Got to play more interior with a little bit of outside of rush, but I'm mainly an inside guy, so really I think like six sacks in the inside is pretty good. Sacks obviously are the stat that everybody looks at, but you had 17 pressures last year on the quarterback, and you were consistently getting back there. So do you feel like that is the area of your game that you were this close a number of cases, and this year you can really close the gap and finish some of those? I like this guy. Rick James over here is always good. I'll re-ask the question. I'll be good. I feel like that definitely is one of the things where I can make the jump last year. Because I did have 17 pressures. But last year, I honestly should have had about six or seven sacks. I just didn't finish. And that's the whole thing about this year is finishing. Real quick, I want to ask you a close out. We talked about you individually. Now that you've acknowledged Robert here, you can't help but notice him bobbing up and down the sidelines and getting the crowd fired up and right, almost it. knocking over sleds and things of that nature. How, what has it been like adding him to the mix? As he has far great as energy, man. He's a fun guy to be around, man. He's a hell of a hard worker, man. He's the type of guy you need in the room. He brings good energy, man. He's always loud. He's always active. I've never seen a guy not not in a good mood. So you need people like that in the room. He works hard to push the groove. You can't help but lean on a guy like that.